Maritime leaders meeting in Miami today to discuss port safety, security, infrastructure. With the collapse of the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore Harbor last week, supply chain disruptions due to the pandemic, and more recently, attacks on ships in the Middle East, it all points to the ways shipping is so vital to global trade and security. News for Jack's reporter Ann Maxwell has those takeaways from that discussion and what Jack's port is doing to keep its cargo safe. Cargo activity at U.S. ports like Jack's Port is crucial for the economy. At a Joint House subcommittee hearing today on safety and security at U.S. ports, that point was emphasized with Chairman Congressman Daniel Webster noting cargo activity accounts for 26 percent of our nation's GDP. In the past, the emphasis on protecting these hubs of commerce has focused on physical threats. But now, one of the biggest growing concerns is cyber attacks. One of America's largest ports, the Port of Los Angeles, faces approximately 40 million cyber attacks uh, per month. At Jacksport, a spokesperson says they've taken proactive cybersecurity measures and have served as a leader in this area, working with stakeholders, both local and global, to address cybersecurity preparedness, which is a priority of the U.S. Coast Guard sector Jacksonville. Another major concern, according to congressional leaders, is China's growing influence on the seas. If left unchecked, threats to overthrow or disrupt uh, impediments to the maritime transportation sector. Uh, major port equipment such as terminal cranes are purchased from China and could present serious vulnerabilities to the supply chain. He says nearly 80 percent of port to ship cranes are made by a Chinese state owned company known as ZPMC under control of the Communist Party, which could cause American bound cranes to malfunction or facilitate cyber espionage at U.S. ports. We wanted to find out if any cranes from that Chinese state owned company are here at Jacksport and and it wasn't hard to figure out. The port put out this press release in 2016, saying three new cranes here at the Blunt Island Marine Terminal were built, delivered, and set to be installed by that Chinese state-owned company. Jacksport tells us eight of their 26 cranes are manufactured by ZPMC, but none of them use any Chinese software or hardware, saying, quote, all of our cranes are operated by software and hardware made in the United States, Europe, or Japan. Firewalls are in place for additional protection. Also, Jacksport Public Safety and IT departments have implemented additional security protections to keep operations safe. They said two additional container cranes on order are being manufactured in Ireland. Ann Maxwell, Channel 4, The Local Station.